what's going on everybody it's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video today we're proud to announce that LaunchBox version 12.0 has been released and with all new LaunchBox and big box releases we have a ton of fixes ton of improvements and some awesome new features and in this video we're just going to go over some of the fixes improvements and then we'll move right into the new features because we really do have some awesome stuff for version 12.0 Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we've got a lot of fixes here. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the change log so you can go over them. But uh, one of the most important fixes, at least in my opinion, the Epic Games Importer has now been fixed. Epic itself has changed the API requirements, so we kind of got to keep up with this in LaunchBox and Big Box to keep this working. It was kind of like Steam a few years ago. They did a bunch of changes with it. It's been pretty steady so far. Hopefully Epic stays with these API requirements for a long time coming. Like I mentioned, there's a lot more here, so go ahead and read through the change log. Link for that is in the description, but we're going to be moving up to the improvements now. First on the list, performance while selecting games in LaunchBox is now faster due to improvements with populating the game's detail sidebar. Theme developers can now use videos in marquee views, and this is definitely going to make for some awesome new big box themes coming up. A marquee video type has been added, and that falls right in line with those marquee videos. And a marquee image group has now been added to Big Box. And with these three changes here, hopefully in the next few weeks, we see some really awesome new Big Box themes with those new marquee changes. I'd love to see some videos in those marquee views. Now it's time to move up to my favorite part of these new releases, the new features. So we do have some really great stuff here. And the first one we're going to start with here is we can now disable the game specific background image inside a launch box. And I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So we'll head over to launch box. Once I choose a game, we have a sidebar and you can see that the image in the background changes. I do have this blurred out to around 30 to 40%. But a lot of people were complaining about this because, you know, going through their games, they kind of wanted to keep a unified look in the background. And now it's easier than ever to disable this. So we'll head up to the drop down menu. We'll go to tools, options. From here, we'll scroll down until we see visuals, backgrounds, and we can disable use game background images. So from here, I'm going to deselect this. If we move down one to the default section, we can use the LaunchBox default background, use desktop wallpaper, that's usually what I go with, use blown up box art, or we can use a custom image. Now for this here, I just set it to my desktop wallpaper, and I've disabled the game background images. So I'll choose OK. And once we have all that applied, we get a more unified look when we're selecting our games. Instead of that background changing, can be a bit annoying for some people, and we can now disable those game backgrounds. Next on the list for a new feature, we can now use the cleanup media tool for a single platform, and this is really gonna make life easier for a lot of people. So in the past, when we wanted to use the media cleanup tool, it would scan all of our games. And when you have a ton of games, it can take a very long time. But now with LaunchBox 12.0, if I just want to clean up media in a certain section, let's just say uh, Sega Genesis, I can head up to my drop down, tools, and from here, if we go down the list a little bit, you can see clean up media for all platforms or Sega Genesis. That's my selected platform. Let's do it again for N64. Drop down, tools, clean up for N64 media. So really, when it comes down to it, if I want to clean up my media for a certain section, I can do it now individually, or I can still run that full cleanup, which does take a long time if you have a bunch of games. But having this here is actually a big plus, because what I plan on doing is just one or two a day. That way it doesn't take me forever to clean up all of my media for all of the platforms. But yeah, for LaunchBox 12.0, this is a great addition. We've already taken a look at the improvement for the marquee video type here, and this kind of falls right in line with it. Big box marquee views have now been overhauled to help with custom theme support. And again, I can't wait to see what these awesome theme developers have up their sleeve when it comes to these marquee videos. Moving up the list, filtering games in LaunchBox is now more flexible. You can filter pretty much anything on the fly with the new filter button on the left hand side. So let's go back over to LaunchBox. Our new filter button is right here. If we choose this, you can see that we have complete, yes or no, controller support, from four-way all the way down to zapper, favorite, yes or no, genre, from action to shooter, vehicle simulation, and everything in between, installed, yes or no, max players, one to a hundred, platform, this really pertains to what you have installed inside of LaunchBox and Big Box right now, play mode, two-player alternating, I mean all the way through, multiplayer, cooperative, and single-player. 
rating, E for everyone, E10+, plus, all the way down, our region, and series. So this kind of scanned through everything that I have installed and created these little sections for me. So if I want to go to my Bloody Roar games, the series here, one of my favorite fighting series, we have it listed. I'm going to uncheck Bloody Roar, and we'll just go with a genre. Let's go with horror since it's October. It's going to bring up all of my horror games. And from here, you can see the platform that each one of these games is inside of, and we just have a filter for horror games. So as you can see, filtering is way more flexible now in LaunchBox 12.0. And the final new feature here, which is a really welcome change, all LaunchBox pop-up dialogues now have a dark theme. And if you're a premium user, you can customize this to your liking. So if we move back over to LaunchBox, if I right-click on a game, you can see we have that white background. Looks good. I mean, it's been with us for a while. I'm not opposed to it. But we now have the option to totally customize this or just turn it to the dark theme. Really easy to do. From the drop-down, we're going to head to Tools, Options, and we're going to scroll down here until we see Dialog Theme. And we have a few options in here. Use the default light theme colors. That's what we have right now. But I'm going to go with the dark theme. That's going to change everything for us. So we'll choose OK. Same game. Right click. We have that nice dark theme. And if you're a premium user, what we can do here is head back to Tools, Options, Dialog Theme, and we can totally customize this. So it's really up to you. I'm going to make this look a little odd right now, but I haven't taken time to go through it really. Foreground color. I might not be able to see a lot of this, but as you can see, totally customized it. And you can go with whatever you like. It's totally up to you. And this just really gives us an awesome layer of more customizability with LaunchBox. But yeah, that's LaunchBox 12.0. And we hope you enjoyed the new features, fixes, and improvements. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.